Rocket ship detected. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator and welcome to Cosmic Leap. A spe speed running platformer uh, done in a pixel style. I really, really like the music as well as the aesthetics. However, there are some troubles with this game. I will say that much. The controls are quite a bit awkward. I've given the controls a 1 out of 10. Um, it's a bit hard to describe. You can point one direction or the other. You can also stop, but then to get going again um, is quite wonky, especially on a controller. It might be a little bit better on the keyboard where the directions are completely definitive left and right. But with a control stick on a round planet, yeah, it, it becomes uh, a little bit weird. The fun factor, nonetheless, I've given a 7 out of 10. There are a lot of unlockables in this game. There is a lot of challenge to this game. Um, we'll eventually start seeing suns and things like that that'll just fry you if you're not on the right side of the planet when it, when it goes off. I think that's a really, really cool thing. I had a lot of fun trying to get through this game. And uh, yeah, I think it's deserving of a higher than average fun factor at a 7 out of 10, regardless of the troubled controls. The difficulty, I've given a 5 out of 10. Oh, I got a new sumo guy. I will use him. <laughs> uh, 5 out of 10, completely average. I, I didn't have too much trouble getting through this game. It's definitely something that... Uh, I could sit a kid down with and they would probably have some fun with it. They might not complete it due to the the timing of the sun and things like that, but if you're uh, an adult and your motor skills are together, you, you won't have much trouble walking your way through this game. So average difficulty out of 5 out of 10. Replayability I've given an 8 out of 10. There are so many characters to unlock, there are so many ships and things like that. It's uh, a lot of fun to try and get them uh, even once you've completed the level. You go back and it's like, rocket ship detected! Nice, we're gonna get out of here. Boosh, I got a new, a new thing. I think it's a new ship. Yeah, the dart. Let's use that one too. That's better than our 50s ancient rocket thing. And then we have to go through the level again to complete it. No problem, did that a little backwards, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, replayability, 8 out of 10. I do want to go back through all the levels, unlock all the characters. They are showcased uh, before you complete anything which I think is really nice and as are the rocket ships so definitely something that you will want to come back to especially if you're a sucker for even just uh, aesthetical changes like me all these characters are exactly the same but it's just more fun to play as a as a robot or a, a guy with a fish for a brain like Earthworm Jim or whatever the hell it is um, so yeah really Good replayability, especially with the timed aspect, even though the levels are a little bit short. I really do like speedrunners, so I will be coming back to this one. Replayability is pretty strong at an 8 out of 10. Innovation, I think, suffers. Um, a lot of the traps and things like that I've seen before, it doesn't have a whole lot to offer um, as far as new things. I do like the... the tiny size of the levels however it's not really conducive to like a multiplayer thing if that's what you're into um nonetheless i i think it does have some merit uh especially with the aesthetic and things like that so i've given the innovation slightly lower than average at a three out of ten on the aesthetic side i've got the graphics at an eight out of ten i freaking love the graphics the the voxel pixely block style is just wonderful to look at and they do a lot of cool things with it. I like all the different characters that they offer. The block style is done throughout the game. There's not really a change in aesthetic anywhere, which I think is really nice. You've also got the scan lines across the uh, the screen, which makes it seem more like you're on a TV show, which ties into the storyline, which I also thought was fantastic. Um, the story actually did get a 10 out of 10, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, the graphics definitely standing strong, though, at an 8 out of 10. Music, 7 out of 10. I really, really do like the uh, down-tempo kind of electro. It soothes my soul. There aren't that many tracks, unfortunately, but um, the ones that are there, you can listen to over and over, and it doesn't become grating. Residents must stay in after dark and travel with a valid emperor pass and try to congregate in groups of two. This is purely for your safety. <laughs> oh, how nice. Oh, yeah. Wasteland Punk. Alright, we're gonna be this guy. 
That's uh, all I ever wanted to be in my whole life. And he's even green and irradiated. There's so many different characters to enjoy. I really do like that about this game. So while the music stands pretty strong at a 7 out of 10, I do think that the sound effects are even better. Um, the sounds are randomized when you're jumping around, and it's really nice to not have a, a grading sort of thing, even if it is only five or six sounds in succession. So, definitely well done on the uh, the sound effects. There's also a mixer in the options if you don't like the sound effects or the music. So I think that's a, a really nice addition. Sound effects are standing strong almost near the story. Dang. I'm gonna get this. Yes! One more time. Go! <laughs> yeah. Sound effects at a 9 out of 10. The story is absolutely awesome. There is a... Uh, a bit of mystery and intrigue, if you will. Oh god, I gotta wait for that thing to come back. It's sort of like a dystopian universe where you're ch being sold things <laughs> um, during the cutscenes. Or during the levels, rather. The cutscenes between the levels? That's, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. Um, this dystopian 1984 kind of... Uh, Social critique really does speak to me for obvious reasons. Um, I think anybody living in 2016 can understand where I'm coming from when I say that. And uh, if you don't, then you're you're not old enough quite yet. <laughs> don't worry about it. You'll figure it out soon. I ain't gonna worry, ruin it for you. This game does have some really great social commentary, and um, albeit it's not extremely developed or in depth or anything like that. If that's what you're looking for. But I really, really do like what it has to say. Um, despite being a bite-sized game, I think it's done extremely well. So I've given the story a 10 out of 10. Level design, I've given a 2 out of 10. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be completely honest. Um, there's, there's just not quite enough meat, if you know what I'm saying. Um, Granted, uh, some some levels have puzzles and switches and things like that that you need to hit, but figuring it all out is relatively easy, and uh, I don't think the levels uh, are that challenging, you know, also based on the merit of how tiny they are. You know, if it's not on this planet, then it's on one of the other two. So I find that a little bit troubling. I would like to see some bigger levels, but for the bite-sized game that it is, I found myself to be pretty pleased with what I got. For a $2 game, I really found this to be uh, a tasty, tasty title, all things considered. I would not say to get it if you don't enjoy platformers, the retro pixel style, things like that, but if you're looking at it and you go, wow, that seems like something that I'd like to play, uh, it is. <laughs> it's really inexpensive, really simple, and uh, it's got a lot of heart. And I can, I can feel that, you know what I mean? There's not a ton, a ton that it offers, but what it does offer is pretty solid, and for the price, it really can't be beat. So, friends, this has been Cosmic Leap. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you have enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I will send you one bottle of Yoohoo. That's right, I'm not sure it'll be good in the mail, but I think it'll be okay because there's, you know, some preservatives and whatnot. It's not actual milk, it's a chocolate drink, but it's still fucking delicious. And if you haven't had a Yoohoo, I'd highly suggest going to get one. Fuck, I suck at getting around these suns, I'll be here all day. <laughs> Until the next time, friends, Bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.